Hi everybody, welcome. It's been a long absence, but I'm back. <laughs> the reasons why I haven't made a video for a long time are multiple. First of all, I'm very, very extremely busy. Um, and secondly, my dad has not been well. And we've been traveling up and down to go and see my dad as much as possible. He's in his late, late 80s and uh, yeah, uh, we must save, uh, absolutely enjoy every minute we have with uh, our parents if while we still have them. Okay, now so many of you have asked me uh, one question or actually many questions, but the question that probably pops up most regularly is, Johan, please tell us how to pick a puppy. Now, I'm very sorry, I'm very, very, very bad at picking puppies. I always pick puppies for myself and for other people and about six months later I look at those puppies I gave to them and I said, gee, maybe you made the wrong choice. But, well, that's it. I will tell you what I know and it's for you to apply. I can never guarantee that you'll pick the right puppy because when puppies are small we still don't know what we're going to have when they're adults. You know, the owners of a puppy want you to come and see the puppy and pay a deposit when the puppy is probably about two weeks, three weeks, four weeks old. Uh, because if they wait until the puppy is eight weeks old before they get their deposits and, and guys interested, at the end they're sitting with puppies three months, four months old before they're sold. So we've got to act a little bit earlier. And, and, and when the puppies are small, we still don't know what the hell we're going to have. Right. So for today's lesson, I brought a puppy. Right. Okay. Now let's see. What shall I look for when I, when I pick a puppy? The most important thing is, look at the parents. Insist you want to see the mother, you want to see the father. Temperament is one of the biggest problems that people encounter with bulbuls if they don't know the breed. Okay, now if you don't see the mother, you don't see the father, you don't see the inherited temperament of this dog. Temperament is genetically transferable to a great extent. So, the very first thing is don't look at the puppy. Look at the mother, look at the father. Don't accept stories like, oh, the dad is just on another farm, or this, or that, or insist to meet the dog. Don't go and don't just look at uh, pictures. A picture doesn't show you the temperament of a dog. Don't listen to breeders, right? Breeders are notoriously bad at imparting correct information, right? I'm not saying all breeders, but in general, breeders will uh, twist the truth a little bit to sell you a puppy. Now, what do we do? First of all, we looked at the mother and the father. This one was uh, Kadima Estrella. Uh, Kadima Estrella was bred from two Linjo dogs. Uh, she's a lovely girl. I know her in temperament. Excellent. Right. For the male, I used a dog called uh, Lenyu Susas Boris. Okay. Boris is uh, he's a sweetie. He's not really my style of dog so much, but I, I, I like what I saw temperament-wise on him, so I'm happy, right? So, there I've got the two parents, that's the first thing. Now, secondly, there's a litter of five puppies. What do I do? I walk up to the litter. Most people, when one puppy starts sniffing their hand or running up to them, and say, oh, I want that one. That one picked me. Oh, no, no, a puppy can't pick you, right? You have to pick a puppy, right? So, what do you do? You look at the litter, and there's a big fat one. You pick the big fat one. No. There's a little runt. Do you pick the little runt? No. If you if you can avoid it, don't. Pick the middle of the litter. Remember, we're working on a breed standard for the burbles. A breed standard says this is the standard. And what everybody understood is if you're below the standard, you're in trouble. Also, if you exceed the standard, you're in trouble. If the standards say a dog's legs must be sturdy. It must be sturdy. It mustn't be little twigs. If that's too thin, right, that's in trouble. And it shouldn't be bloody big tree trunks. Because if they big tree trunks, it's also not according to the breed standard. Nowadays, very, I think the, most of the appraisers lost the plot totally. They just think the bigger, the better. The more you exceed, the better. No, that is wrong. The standard is the standard. To the left, to the right of it is not right. Okay, so pick the middle of the litter. I always, my dad was a sheep farmer, and he always told me, Johan, if I want to pick a ram, I don't pick the biggest lamb, I don't pick the smallest lamb, I pick the one in the middle with good structure. Now, let's look at the structure. The very first thing is you look for obvious things. Look at the 
puppy's feet. Are they crippled? Are they fine? This one's got, uh, these ones all have, have new claws at the back. But with today's sentiment, I left the new claws. I used to always remove them. But, oh well, got a lot of crying uh, people saying, don't, 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 don't remove the new claws. So I'm, I'm leaving them this time. Okay, right, that's fine. Paws, feet, everything looks fine. Look at the structure. Look at the head shape. You can already see quite a lot. It's a tiny little puppy. But this one's going to have a nice blocky head when it grows big. Okay. On bite, you can see nothing when a puppy is small because it's still got to grow. Ears, you can see nothing. They still got to grow. Oh, but you can see lacquer. Let me see inside. The little mouth inside is darkly pigmented. This dog's got a cat. He's a lot of pigment. It's a brindle. It's beautiful. Okay. Now, the next thing you look at, you've got to let it stand. And then, uh, you can't do that. You can't really see the top line of the puppy yet. But look at it. Look at the loin especially. And decide if it's thin and narrow or if it's strong and straight. Okay. This one's got a really nice strong loin. Okay. Then look at the tail. Feel the girth of the tail. The tail is a natural extension of the spinal column of the dog. So, I dock the tails on these because the country in which I live, it's still allowed and I still believe in it, right? But what you do is you feel the girth of the tail. If we got a tiny, teeny, weeny, thin little tail, its spine is the same, right? It's an extension of the spinal column. Oh, you looking? No, I'm not your mama. But it's okay, right? Let's see. Here. Oh, I'm nearly finished, puppy. I'm nearly finished. Okay, right. Also, look at, look at all the other things you can see. Look at the legs. Look at the... The, the genitals, see if everything looks okay, if everything looks fine. This dog is just fine. And more than that, you can't do, right? There is a temperament test that you can do on a puppy much later, when they're much bigger. It's called the Vollard temperament test. And, 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 and I will do that in another video with these puppies when they are bigger. I'll do the full Vollard test to show you between the puppies what the different temperaments are. So you can already do a test on puppies when they are small, but apart from that, you go with the one you love, okay? And I like this little yellow. Nah. Mrs. Yellow, you're gonna stay with us or are we gonna pick another puppy? I think you must stay with us, okay. Right, to end off. Some of you might have noticed that the name of my channel changed. It was just Johan Swart 100, which was my name and my Gmail address. But I changed it now to Burbul Academy. Burbul Academy says a lot to me. Because there's a lot of, lot of, lot of people that contact me on a daily basis for information, for lessons, to help them with stuff regarding the Burbuls. And I think an academy is the next way to go. We also have a lot of people that allege that they know a lot of things about the breed, but they don't. Um, uh, unfortunately, the public is being misled by people claiming to have 30 years experience. And in the meantime, they did one year 30 times over. They've got no experience. They had one year that they could spend with a breed, basically, and they just repeated it. A learning curve is a different thing than time spent. Uh, so, yes, I'm going to start a Burbul Academy and we will see how I evolve and roll this thing out. It's conceptual, but I have already nearly written the full book on the Burbul Breed Standard. Um, that book is not available yet, but my previous book on the history and the origins of the breed is still available. It is still marketed. I can still send it anywhere. What you need to do is you send me an email to burbulbook at gmail.com, right? You can also follow my uh, uh, Instagram channel at Linjo Burbuls, and I will soon try to open another channel on Burbul Academy, right? I will, in any case, inform you of progress on that. So, let me take this lazy little lady back to bed, and uh, my mom must be a little bit worried. Oh, yeah, one thing that you should also look at is the pigmentation. Just check if this little one is... Uh, if it's really got nice and dark pigmentation, and this one is as dark as you can get. Okay, up to you to pick your puppies. Bye.